the Destiny franchise is gearing up for its epic conclusion in just a couple of years. Beyond that though, Destiny will continue in new games and other forms of media like possible movies, TV shows, and books. In today's video, we're going to dive into a behind the scenes look of how Destiny works and what the next saga may look like as Bungie relights the engines after the Final Shape expansion. Before we get into that information, for those not familiar with the current state of the game, things overall are pretty great. In the last 30 days on just Steam, it has averaged around 80,000 players. And when you take into account all the platforms the game is on and also that it's cross-platform, there's many more Guardians out there on their quest to save the last safe city. When you look at a major live service title, Bungie had their issues and growing pains at first, but both Destiny 1 and 2 have become one of the most successful franchises in this category. Even when you think about the multiple platforms and managing all different aspects of the game, Destiny doesn't have just one mode like one big battle royale or one PvP mode, it's a bunch of different things layered on top of each other. And that isn't to say that they don't get things wrong and mess up from time to time everybody's going to, but the point is, Destiny 2 is in a great spot and Bungie has overall done a pretty great job. With that in mind, Bungie told us we would have two major expansions left for Destiny's Light and Dark Saga, the entire story that's been building up since its 2014 release. Guardians use the power of the light, and now the darkness, and must battle the witness and whoever seeks the final shape, the truth of the universe when nothing remains. This time. The Witch Queen expansion came out earlier this year in 2022. Next year we can expect Lightfall, and the year after that the final shape, which will conclude the saga. When you look at Destiny's overall content releases, you usually have one major expansion a year, and then four seasons sprinkled throughout to keep the content going, adding more you know, features and stories. In the Game Maker's Notebook podcast, Luke Smith was on recently and talked about the future of the Destiny franchise, Specifically, things like seasonal content releases leaving some players lost when it comes to the story, and some of the struggles Bungie has had with introducing new players to this massive universe. Luke also briefly touches on the next saga of Destiny and what Bungie is planning for that beyond 2024. I will leave the link to the podcast and also an article from the game post that covers this in the description below. Here's what Luke had to say about the overall universe and how it could expand into other forms of media. So Luke Smith started by stating that him and Mark Noseworthy are responsible for expanding the Destiny brand, that is their role within the studio. The goal is to expand the game beyond just one type of media and one type of game, into other experiences, other game genres, other forms of media, maybe TV, movie, board games, who knows. Paraphrasing this, he basically said this is a mission people go on to die sometimes. It's a tough job, and we can see how transforming games into other forms of media like movies, Uncharted, or TV shows, maybe Halo, some people will not like that as they like the original adaptations. Looking at the Destiny universe and thinking, how can we make this universe that lasts and continues beyond a single pair of awesome MMO projects? Bungie also wants to honor existing fans, those hardcore players that dump thousands of hours into the game, and also welcome new fans into the universe. Luke gave a great example when he talked about Star Wars. He said when he was a kid he loved the Star Wars movies, but now it seems Disney has evolved this towards a younger audience and it's not really for him. Yes, he still may enjoy the new movies and shows and will watch them, but it's not tailored specifically toward his age group and he wants to make sure Destiny doesn't have this problem. I made a video talking about some of Destiny's stories and which ones would be great to see on the big screen, so if you're interested in that video you can find it on the channel, or let us know in the comments below what other forms of media would you like to see Destiny in. Let's next talk about live service struggles and balancing new and old players. Live service games have changed a ton over the years. Luke said when the Taken King released they introduced quests. But games nowadays have tons of challenges and pursuits each week, even Destiny 2 like all of your pinnacle reward sources. 
And while trying to keep those players fed with content, it's also hard to introduce new players into that universe. This is something Destiny has suffered from extensively and is one of the biggest issues Bungie is still trying to solve at the moment. Over the last couple of years, we've seen the seasonal stories and content really take off next to those major expansions, you know, expanding the story over multiple months and sort of connecting everything together, and it's worked great. The thing is, it's still hard for those new players to jump in and follow what the heck is going on. I think for us, when we look at, you know, this arc, we call it the end of the light and dark saga. We're gonna have that kind of relighting of the engine, so to speak welcoming folks back in. I think we've got to continue to figure out how to slope the floor for folks coming back into the universe and what Bungie can create to help that. There's certainly things like go watch amazing YouTubers' summaries of the story so far, but we shouldn't expect our players to do that. Those services that those YouTubers provide are awesome. I'm speaking of that, you can watch this video right here. If you consider the two Destiny projects, Destiny 1 and 2 together, we're in year 8 or so of this, and a lot's going on over the last 8 years, you can't play all of it. How can we help folks catch up? It's a really tough problem. So I do agree with this one. Some of my friends have been wanting to get back into the game after a very long time, or some have been asking, is this game worth it? Should I invest my time into it? The stories are so incredible, but the game is so big and massive with so much lore and story that it's hard to jump in. Even starting a new character myself a couple of years back, there's so much content to grind and you may get lost on where to start. There's not really a good guide point. I'm not sure what the answer is for this. Maybe if they had like these little video summaries in-game that led up to current expansions or something. But leave your own opinions below. How do you think Bungie should catch up players that are new to the game? They do talk about reigniting the engines and welcoming folks back in with the new saga, so that sounds like everything is going to, you know, start over, possibly a Destiny 3, where everybody's on the same page, the story starts in some new direction. So this podcast was really great to listen to. This is actually the first episode I've seen and became aware of it through this news. It really did open up my mind from a player's perspective of just how hard it may be to build and create content for a massive live service game like Destiny. From PvP to campaign to raids and strikes, it can be quite overwhelming at times for the developers. Also, Luke brought up a good point. Some employees may feel burnt out after working on a project for a very long time and many years, and it makes sense, not just in games, but anywhere really. As we are aware, Bungie has branched out and began creation of new projects though, which those folks get to experience, to freshen up the dev cycle and be passionate about something new. And with that opportunity, it also introduces new developers to the Destiny franchise, developers who grew up playing the game and are excited to keep it going. If you'd like to find the Game Maker's Notebook podcast, it'll be in the description below. Bungie and Destiny are a massive powerhouse that will continue for years to come, and that's a great thing to see as a fan of this company and this game. Anyway, Guardians, that's all I got for today's video. If you'd like to see some more on Destiny's lore and mysteries, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.